Keeping tabs on the health of several dozen whales that travel thousands of miles is not an easy task. But it's what SR3 has tried to do for the southern residents for years now, using aerial photography. See us hanging out of the, out the windows there. Um, and this was the very start of the study. We were able to get um, size estimates and evaluate the body condition of, of the entire population. Hanging out of helicopters has since become drone flights, generating thousands of images that must be analyzed and they need for a faster way to do that. So they've accomplished that through a new partnership with Vulcan, which used machine learning to develop this tool. This has been shown on a per image basis to save 25% uh, of their time. And then for a batch of images, the savings in time is even greater. Currently going from um, as much as six months to approximately six weeks, and we are driving towards days as we continue to improve the, the tool. The process can identify individual whales by their markings and assess health condition through visible factors like fat loss, called peanut head, a key sign a whale is in trouble. Saving time, money, and hopefully whales through timely management recommendations. And when we do detect declines in condition in individuals and in, in poor condition, um, we're able to um, provide management agencies like nurseries with these quantitative health metrics in hopes that this will act as a sort of early warning system before whales die. Michael Crow, King 5 News.